So, uh, <coughs> hello guys. <coughs> Today I'm gonna do a, a little uh, tour of my room, gaming room, or how you wanna call it. So yeah, first of all, the flags in my room, Vitaphone from the Maserati in the time, from that car, when I went to the 24 hours of spa in 2009, uh, so uh, 11 years ago. My God! <laughs> so yeah, the first of all, <coughs> this racing setup, the seat, TV, everything. So yeah, first of all, <coughs> my Logitech boxes. Second, Xbox One or uh, Xbox controller, how you wanna call it, for PC. My uh, right handed rift touch, then my Giro 3 GoPro, <coughs> a little uh, external drive. If I format my PC, the, the how you call it, the sensor. Then my racing seat is a UZ, UZX from the Netherlands with my triple screen holder then I have here my Oculus Rift like you see the CV1 I'm gonna put it here so I can sit in my then I have my headset the Logitech G35 I'm gonna put it here also like this up. Then I'm gonna sit a little bit here. Then I have the Fanatec V2 base, the Club Sport base with the BMW GT rim. I have also the Z1 LCD screen with a with a little holder for it, like you see. It fits perfect. From that uh, device I have also a video on my uh, channel. Then the Trustmaster shifter, like everybody knows. With the truck shifter on it. When I play a Euro Truck or some other other games. I use this uh, device also as a handbrake. You can turn this around, but I use the handbrake like this. If you turn it around, then this thing comes here, and then you need to do the handbrake like this. I have also to well, this to put on. You can this put on instead of uh, the shift in the, instead of this. And then the handbrake, you like you see, you need to do like this. But I, I don't switch it anymore. I do I just do always like this if I play rally games or so. My mouse in here with, with the keyboard I use is also a Logitech. Then my three, three screens that are uh, old screens, they are now 10 years old I guess. So yeah, uh, my webcam that I use, the pedals are the Fanatex V3 also, also with the damper kit installed on the throttle, instead of the brake, because the brake is more than stiff enough, I will show you why, and uh, the throttle was it's now very good with the damper kit on it. So next, my uh, other Logitech. Uh, I think it was uh, the Z 5500 series, but uh, there is a little problem with it, so I need to check it out. <coughs> so my webcam that I use, it's a Microsoft one. Then another device that I use uh, with iRacing 
it's a uh, eye flag so it shows the the flags like yellow flag blue flag uh, red flag also a video of it uh, on my youtube channel then my tv is a something i guess it's uh, also eight years old or so or something my xbox 360 still working then i go in here my uh, normal seat where i sit in is a dx racer then we come with the with the stuff it's a pro handbrake from ec sim hardware like you see you can check them out uh, on the, the internet i also got their pedals the, i think it was uh, the pro feel but i need to do them uh, inside with them because there was a problem with, on it i will show you maybe a closer look like you see very good pedals but uh, yeah also with a uh, with a motor on the brake like you see so it vibrates when you lock up so yeah uh, next like I said I use the stiff the brake on the pedals was stiff enough that comes because the performance kit I used the 13 red and the 13 green so it makes the pedals a lot more stiffer and then the damper kit normally it's for the brake but because I use this I put it on my uh, throttle because that was less stiff and now it's stiffer so this was the parts of the TH8 I don't know the company anymore but it's 3D printed for the handbrake uh, 5 shifts and reverse and this one is 6 shifts and reverse it's also the same like uh, and uh, like the original plate there is uh, 7 shifts and reverse so you have them all now then uh, a bit, maybe a better view of the room then we go inside this thing uh, same thing as uh, the handbrake from the same company just that it's, it's, it's a shifter uh, from the same company also don't look at the mess okay then I have this the ProTac it's also a shifting device this have you can change colors in here this is a red light when you rev the car also from the same company as this uh, reserve parts for the shifters reserve parts for the pedals uh, Trekkie Air 5 that I used before when I got when I didn't got triples a little book of Valentino maybe I'm gonna sell this if you are interested let me know uh, a black Xbox 360 still working also then for my Fanatec base I have the formula wheel also I just uh, updated two magnetic shifters uh, I got these from uh, the company 3D wrap dot ET I think it was 30 euro 40 euro a lot better than the than the original ones like you see you you hear, you hear definitely the click from the shifters so that is in here yep. then uh, I have a PlayStation 4 also the update that I did the Seagate 2 terabyte SSD oh, it's, a, it's a SATA sorry um, then I guess it's my headset that I use for that the wireless stereo 2.0 very happy of it also
So yeah, uh, what, I, what we have more? My car, RC car, my biggie from Kyosho. I don't use it anymore because it costs a lot of money. But yeah, it's still drivable. What you have there, a uh, box from the car. Oh, I have also a butt kicker. That's uh, underneath that. You don't see it very well because it's too dark, but... And the other closet. Not many more things, just my Xbox games. PlayStation 3 games, uh, PC games, and uh, Xbox Xbox games. Uh, a thing for my GoPro, my watch, and I think it's everything that you need to know. So yeah, I think we are around in here. So let me know what you find uh, if you want to know something about uh, products. Uh, put it down in the comments and I will uh, reply on it. Okay, I wish you all a good Friday and have a nice day and keep it safe of COVID. Greetings from Wicke.